Lock, stock and two smoking barrels actor Nick Moran has proved himself in front of the camera. Now he's trying to prove himself behind it in his directorial debut, Telstar. It's the story of the tragic yet comical life of legendary music producer Joe Meek, who famously turned down the Beatles four times. I don't want it on the ride, I want it on the hi-hat. I'm on the hi-hat! Then play it closed. I played it closed! Then play it better! Oh, okay then. Right, well, get on with it then. Joe Meek, a misunderstood genius who wrote and produced Telstar, the biggest selling record of its time, and all recorded at his home studio above a handbag shop in North London. And it was this plaque that lock, stock and two smoking barrels actor Nick Moran spotted as he staggered into a taxi one night, which inspired Telstar the play and now the movie. Nick was a drunken night stumbling along Holy Road that uh, this all began. Oh, well, I thought you were talking about last night. No, um, <laughs> No, I wasn't in the Holloway Road. Uh, yes, it was. It was a long time ago now, um, and this is where it's led us. So the moral in the story is: <laughs> don't, don't drink, drink kids. Road. Don't go to the Holloway Road. Yeah. Don't drink on Holloway Road, kids. This look what happens. Olivier Award winner Con O'Neill played the pioneering but ultimately tragic producer on stage and in the film. Would you have been really annoyed if you hadn't been asked to do? Curious. Yeah. Especially if I'd cast myself. Yeah, Nick Moran <laughs> is Joe Meek. And then That's cast cool. me as the cab driver. Yeah, give you a little cameo. Just Without any thing. lines. Yeah, no, well, look, you know, it's a business, and I've been around long enough to know that it's rare that you get the opportunity to play the part on stage and then do the film. What, you know, count on one hand the amount of actors who, do, who have done that. It's all to do with Simon Jordan, the producer, that he um, never even entertained the idea of. of uh, Having someone else's job. Are you saying that Simon forced you? Forced me to take <laughs> me. He, he wanted Dale me. Winton. No, no. Well, Dale Winton oh, wasn't boy. cast, but yeah. another handsome chap oh, was. JJ yeah. Field plays yeah. Himes, Joe yeah. Meek's pet project yeah. and lover. Do you miss the peroxide hair? <laughs> not one bit. <laughs> it's not right. It's not right to peroxide yourself to within an inch of your life. And did it, bits of your hair start falling out? It all breaks off. I, I look at me. It's not happier being a blonde. It's uh, because, because on film, your, your hairline grows so quickly, yeah. you've got to keep doing the front almost daily. Otherwise, you get a nice black line across the front <laughs> and your toes. Oh dear. Well, obviously, I'm a natural blonde, so I wouldn't obviously. know what you're talking no, about. But mine was a, a special kind of white blonde. There was nothing natural. Despite the hair, he did have some success, but the public preferred throwing beans at Heinz. Get it? They didn't just throw Heinz beans at me. They threw sausages, chips and um, pickles. And um, uh, when, when they shot it, they got the entire crew to have bits of food. And it was, let's see if we can get JJ. And you'll see there's in one take, I get a pickle right in the eyeball. <laughs> I wasn't too pleased. Disgraceful. They'd have never thrown a pickle at Kevin Spacey. Do I make myself clear? Yes, it is really him. Good. Carry on, then. This whole Mersey Beat thing, it's a fad. But good luck with the demo. Oh, and please, send my love to the boys. I know. Some people may or may not know that he turned down, Joe Meat turned down the Beatles um, numerous times, which I'm sure is something he, he would have regretted had he lived. Are there any big regrets you guys have on that scale? Yeah. Turned down the Beatles before? Yeah, I didn't join the Beatles. <laughs> I didn't join I, I famously, oh, I don't know if I can say any of these things. You I've turned down I've Take That? I've, I've, I've turned down a few big movies in my time, uh -huh. like some huge ones. I'll just say them, come well, on. I did actually famously say, when I turned down Lord of the Rings, uh, <laughs> I did say, I'd say, sorry, Pete, there's only so much lamb I can eat. And that was, you know, because at the time it was three years in New Zealand. And, that, you know, and he's a lovely, lovely fellow, and he, he really went out of his way. You know, what, what was it? Oh, I don't want to dwell on it. <laughs> Let that be a lesson. Never turn down liverpudling musicians or Kiwi film directors. I was offered a role in Lord of the Rings too, but it was a Hobbit's role. <laughs> now, Britain may have talent, but has Britain got taste?